Hello, my name is Sebastian Rodriguez. I work as product manager at Polygon. And today I'd like to talk about the Polygon ID value proposition. I think there are some misconceptions around what is really our value, what is the value of the product. Let's start with the most obvious thing. Every time we hear about self-sovereign identities and Web3 and Polygon ID, we think about these two things. We think about privacy and we think about self-sovereignty of data. And that is completely right and is one of our value propositions, but they are targeted to the user, to the end user of the data, to the one holding the wallet. In our uh, go-to-market strategy, we are targeting several actors. We need to have a value proposition for users, but also for verifiers, the companies that need to make the decision to implement some sovereign identity models. We are talking about Web2 or Web3 applications. If they don't implement the self sovereign identity verification process, users won't have any place to use their credentials. On one side, we need to have issuers creating these credentials. We need to have users using the wallets. But if there is no place to go, it's like having a thousand keys but no door to open. So. It's crucial that we understand what is our value proposition for the verifiers, for the applications making changes on the way they manage identities. Think about it, it's a big decision. Identity management is always at the core of your application. So you need to change the number of flows, you need to change how you interface with your user. It's a huge decision and it has to come with equally huge benefits. What are the benefits for these applications of adopting Polygon ID? Well, Beyond providing these benefits for the users, privacy and self sovereignty, first is an improvement in customer experience. Think about one of, one of the most painful interactions between a user and a, an application, the onboarding, right? We hate onboarding. We all hate filling forms, creating new versions of our identities, in 100 places, keeping passwords, right? So Polygon ID has the potential to first remove pa passwords. You basically are connecting your identity to the application. You don't need to provide any passwords. And then also you don't need to reshare all the information again and again and again. You just share your credentials. You can also decide how much you share in this process. Imagine an application that will have a one second onboarding process without passwords, right? You just connect your identity to the application. The application asks questions about your identity and you decide if you can answer or not with total transparency. That is an excellent customer experience. The second aspect is trusted identities. It's not that we don't have a way to validate identities nowadays. Think in the case of Twitter with the blue check and these things, right? They were trying to somehow verify that they were real human beings behind a Twitter account. They failed, but the need is still there. In many applications, we don't know if we are interfacing with a human being, with a bot, with a troll farm, etc. And because of these risks, applications and companies are limited in the things they can do uh, with, with users because they cannot really trust them to the same extent they would trust them in the real world. Is there a way to fix this? Yes. It's called KYC. It's know your customer. There are companies which core business is to scan your passport, your face, or do whatever verification online, and then give you that proof that you are a real person. There are different levels and types of KYC providers, from the most uh, compliance-oriented ones that will require your passport, your face, etc., to the ones that are just checking that you're a human being, like CAPTCHA. All these providers of trust are a good solution to this problem. The challenge is that connecting to all these different providers of trust is very difficult because an application will have to integrate through, AP, through different and non-standard APIs to a number of these providers. If they want to change to a different provider or they need different providers per region or something like that, uh, it's, it's very cumbersome, it's a bad user experience, and it's also very expensive. Right? There is a solution in the market to have trusted identities is not optimal. And here is where the use of verifier credentials allow for 
the reusability of your credentials. A user, get, a user will get verified once, store these credentials in their wallet, and they use these credentials and this trust to a number of applications. And all these applications will benefit from having trusted IDs and all the business models and all the possibilities that this will unlock. So these two things should be at the core of our value proposition for verifiers. We are still a company committed to the principle of privacy and self sovereignty, but for this to happen, we need to create a healthy ecosystem with lots of verifiers and issuers. Thank you.